Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Phil with Full of Life Ministries. Today's message is entitled, Expect the Unexpected. Now in the book of James, chapter one, verses two through four tells us, it says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. So let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. From the knocking on your front door from a solicitor to the manager who calls you to clean a spill in the parking lot at the local store. Unexpected test happens all the time. The uncertainty and unpredictability that life hits us with is always in play. Never a dull moment, right? <laughs> That's the beauty of life. No one knows what tomorrow holds. No one has a crystal ball to prepare us for calamity. And certainly no one has the foresight to be able to detect when an incoming object of a potential setback is going to test your character, test your integrity, your stamina, your endurance. And I know, I know that we have meteorologists that studies the climate complexities and science behind our weather. And with the aid of technology, we're able to navigate through the various weather changes pretty well. But my question is to you, how do you respond to the various trials that show up, show up at your doorstep unannounced? Unlike the weather person who can provide a 10 day forecast for our benefit, unexpected trials move swiftly through the course of our lives and many times create collateral damage to our psyche. Oftentimes we're, we are left defeated, depressed, devastated, and desperate to find our way out of this dilemma. And I believe that these unexpected events that occur is our lack of preparation for the unseen or or the unforeseen you know parents try to remind us just to be responsible and take care of your required obligations only to see us scrambling at the last minute to turn in our homework or pay our bills on time it's the it's the football coaches when they go over strategies during the week to place you in the right position for success, only to watch us miss our assignments on the field and give your opponent a tactical advantage. And then we have this tendency to just avoid confrontation. <laughs> Listen, What's troubling your peace? What's draining your energy towards life? What's creating so much confusion in your mind that you are right now at the brink of just throwing in the towel and giving up? Think about the person who has, has to make their free throw at the end of a game. You guys know, you try to avoid participating in the game because you don't want to be that person having to make that clutch shot. <laughs> the reality is pressures are real. It is our reality. Everyone must face these unexpected, but yet most fulfilling moments in our lives. 
But yet and still, we're just not confident enough. We're not knowledgeable enough to recognize that these unexpected moments are not designed to make us bitter. It's designed to develop you, to make you better. Now in 2 Timothy, the first chapter and the seventh verse states, it says God's spirit doesn't make cowards out of us. The spirit gives us power, love, and self-control. A coward is someone who lacks the courage to do anything difficult or dangerous or just plain unpleasant. Those who act cowardly because they did not prepare in the right way consciously shies away from making any effort to fix a bad situation. They only consider saving their own skin at the expense of enslaving themselves to fear. God has provided within us his power. His power enables us to govern and control all things expected or unexpected, both temporal and spiritual. And the antidote that love provides enables us to handle our constant challenges effectively because love is patient and kind. It's never jealous. It's never boastful, proud, or rude. Love isn't selfish or quick-tempered. It doesn't keep a record of wrongs that others do. Love rejoices in the truth, but not in evil. Love is always supportive, loyal, helpful, and trusting, because love never fails. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 through 8. And self-control or self-discipline Self-discipline is vital in order to achieve success. This component is provided in all of us. And the way we thrive in life is by living a spirit-filled life that keeps us in harmony with God's moral laws. This simply means surrendering our will to His will. People of God, we must know him. We must love him. We must always remember him and imitate him. And as a result, we will become mature because maturity or maturity is patience. It's the willingness to give up immediate pleasure in favor of long-term gain. You see, God has given us the ability to handle every test because we have not only received his instructions, but we live by his instructions. So people of God, listen, expect the unexpected. Don't run from the challenge, run to the challenge. You will learn more about your personal growth. You will learn more about yourself when you understand that all of these challenges are not designed to crush your spirit, but these trials will define your existence. Philippians 4.19 says, God will meet all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. So for every trial, you face in the future. He will produce in you the ability to persevere through every difficulty and every delay with grace. Listen, everybody, today or tonight, I want you to be encouraged and I want you to continue to keep shining. And thank you guys for listening to this particular episode 
here at Full of Life Ministries of San Diego. Please email us at fulloflifesd at gmail.com. You can follow us on Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on YouTube. If you'd like to contribute to this ministry, Cash App, dollar sign, full of life, last two letters, SD. Say that one more time. Dollar sign, full of life, last two letters, SD. Pray for us as we pray for you. And let's continue to live life with purpose. We see you next week. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. God bless.